Alrighty guys, before we get into the video, make sure to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, also make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. And if you guys want to be notified every time I post a new video, make sure to click that bell for all notifications. I'll see you guys later. Yo, what's going on everybody? It is your boy Fitzmong TV here, aka GLORN33. I am here with your My Hero Academia Chapter 277 review for you guys. We are back on schedule. Expect these every Thursday as long as we are getting the My Hero Academia Chapter on Sunday. I want to thank my boy DBS Hype as always for getting us the leaks and the summary early so I could provide you guys with this early review. And the war arc continues, the battle with Shigaraki continues, and uh, they deliver with a another fantastic chapter. I don't know how this is going to end. I am still scared as hell because this boy Shigaraki is just something else. If you guys just can't tell from the panel, I'm showing you guys colored right now, man. This guy Shigaraki is crazy the war arc continues and we finally see Deku go up against Shigaraki but it's not that simple we see Bakugo get involved we see Endeavor get involved and we also have to remember there's still another battle happening at the mansion between the League of Villains and the heroes that survived uh, Shigaraki's decay wave so things are getting really really crazy and Man, this was another great chapter, and I'm excited to review with you guys today. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. So, if you guys remember, at the end of chapter 276, we saw Deku tackle Shigaraki as Shigaraki was um, about to take out uh, Izawa. And we also saw Bakugo say, it's our turn to save you and this was another emotional chapter it really um went into town on the relation between deku and bakugo with their teacher izawa and everything that's happened so far in the series so basically uh we pick up where we left off deku has his hands on shigaraki's shoulders but Shigar uh, shigaraki's hands are out to the side and not touching deku we know that if shigaraki touches you you'll decay on um, right away but you guys gotta remember izawa has his eyes open right and he's trying to keep his eyes open as long as he can so shigaraki can't use his powers like his regeneration his radio waves his uh ability to steal quirks we know that he has a voice in his head that wants him to steal one for all from deku and we know he also has super speed and super strength and we who knows what else they're hiding from shigaraki also i keep reminding you guys shigaraki does have those quirk destroying bullets in his back pocket all right, and our heroes don't know that he can use them. But uh, the the first panel says Shigaraki versus Deku, and then uh, a flash of dialogue states, "Imagine the worst," and this is referring to the worst case scenario of Deku getting his quirk stolen. If Deku gets one for all stolen, it is over. It is over for hero society. It is over for everyone. All right, there will be no way to stop Shigaraki. So we see Gran Torino and Izawa, they're watching on as Deku is attacking Shigaraki, and Gran Torino asks why, alright, because you know, this is Deku's character, he wants to help out people, he doesn't matter what he has to do, if he can save someone at the end of the day, he will do whatever it takes. And uh, basically, Deku states, if Shigaraki can't use his individual quirks, we're going to be able to fight. Because Izawa uh, is using his quirk to keep Shigaraki from using his. So Deku wants to take advantage of the situation. And uh, they want to damage Shigaraki as much as he can. Because they know Izawa can't keep his eyes open forever. Deku's thinking up of a game plan. And he's analyzing the situation. He thinks with all of these dead heroes we've lost strength against Shigaraki. If his decoy quirk recovers. It... You know, Shigaraki can easily just send another wave of decay. And remember, you have Shigar uh, Shigaraki, Endeavor, Deku, Baku, Gran Torino. All these heroes in very close range of Shigaraki. It's not going to be easy for them to escape another wave of decay. Especially with all the damage they've taken. Alright, but Deku also yells that the worst thing is the loss of a teacher. And he has flashbacks to Izawa having good times with Class 1A. And he says, live on, the teacher who protected me. I'm not going to lose. So Deku's going to do whatever it takes to save his teacher. Remember, we saw last chapter that... We saw last chapter that Izawa um, 
said that he's going to stay alive to see the rest of Class 1A graduate. He wants to see the class that he taught in his first year. He wants to see them grow and become heroes. And he promises to stay alive till then. So we see Izawa emote, and you know Izawa, he doesn't show emotion a lot, but he gets emotional and he remembers his first meeting with Midoriya. If you guys remember, that was way back in season one when they did the uh, the baseball throw, right? And uh, Izawa knew that Deku couldn't control his power at the time, even though he didn't really know that he had one for all. And then Deku, you know, puts the like that little bit of power into his fingertip to throw the ball, uh, impressing Izawa and everybody else in the process. So then Bakugo cuts in with an explosion of the knowns and, Beku and Bakugo's like, let's go! And he fires off his AP shuttle! I love that move. Um, but he fires off the AP shot and Shigaraki is unharmed. And then Shigaraki's like, are you shooting off fireworks? Then Deku grabs Shigaraki with the Black Whip Quirk. But Shigaraki, even though he doesn't have a built his uh, quirk, ability right now since Izawa has his eyes on him he has super speed and super strength similar to All Might and what he does is as Deku is using the black grip Shigaraki pulls Deku along and throws it um throws him like a whip you know so Shigaraki was able to use Deku's quirk against Deku so you know it, it just shows how OP this dude Shigaraki actually is and Shigaraki then goes face to face with Bakugo and says, sorry, but I'm not interested in you anymore. And you guys remember, I say this almost every week, they made it a big thing, remember, when Bakugo was kidnapped by uh, the League of Villains way back in the training camp park. And Shigaraki wanted Bakugo to join the League of Villains and Bakugo chose not to. And now Shigaraki has no more interest in Bakugo. So Shigaraki's going to treat Bakugo like any other guy. He's out to destroy everything. Alright, um, but Shigaraki, he's about to attack Bako, but Endeavor, remember, Endeavor was pretty defeated last chapter. We saw that huge moment when uh, Shigaraki did the All Might pose with the fist in the air, mocking Endeavor and All Might. But uh, Endeavor is back, and uh, Bako and Deku, they see this, and they yell, Endeavor, because they're shocked to see that he's back up. So Endeavor sends Shigaraki flying and Endeavor says Shoto and uh, you know there's not I wish there was more context to this because uh, we know Todoroki's not there I wish Todoroki was there man it would be awesome to see Shoto, Bakugo, Deku all fighting alongside Endeavor but uh, he's not there at least not now but I think this is in reference to Endeavor wanting to stay alive for his son's sake um, but we see Shigaraki get back up Shigaraki says well there's only one more move, all right? And then we see all the heroes talking about Shigaraki. Talking about how, you know, strong he is, his physical abilities, things like that, and not getting close to Endeavor. And Endeavor says Shigaraki might just be as powerful and as tough as All Might, which he probably is with the amount of power that he's gained. So then we see Izawa saying to himself, if you close your eyes for just a second, it's all over. I'm going to make this last as long as possible. We also then see Endeavor and Dress Deku and Bako saying, this mess you've gotten into, well, this can't be helped. I don't care why you're here now, but we have to fight. Endeavor is worrying about what will happen to them if they leave here. And then he yells to everyone, support Eraserhead, protect Bakugo and Deku because remember even though Bakugo and Deku they have the provisional licenses they are still kids they're still high schoolers you know and if something was to happen to them especially in a battle like this with all the loss that's already happened it's gonna be a more traumatic situation than it already is so then we see a voice in Shigaraki's head and uh, Shigaraki's uh, head says get one for all and Shigaraki's saying one for all and then uh the voice is saying, be mine, be my brother. Then Shigaraki and Deku look at each other in confusion, and it's unclear to, you know, what's going on. But out of nowhere, Endeavor uses his hell spider attack. He used it a couple chapters ago, but Shigaraki, using his super speed, was able to dodge it. But uh, Shigaraki is now, he's getting, you know, pissed off at this voice. And we see Shigaraki, he's going crazy. He has these crazy looks on his eye. And then the art and the way that the panels look, just beautiful. I can't wait to see this animated in season six. But 
Um, he's also thinking back to Camino when we saw um, All for One versus All Might, and you know he thinks about how All Might or All for One, who was an evil ruler viewed by society, he was defeated, and how that fate was twisted by those two people. And Shigaraki is now claiming, like, I'm not going to be, like, all for one. I'm going to win. I'm going to do what I want to do. And and then he's saying, uh, I don't want to be like you all for one. I want to be. And then he exits his inner thoughts, and then he goes into actual dialogue. So then he starts saying, shut up. It's my will. As is, this is like a hallucination he's been going through. Then uh, we see him. He yanks the head off of all for one body and it's like him you know rejecting to become the next all for one even though he has all for one's quirk inside him along with all the other uh, powers then we see Gran Torino interrupt and this is really cool because you guys know um Shigaraki is the granddaughter to uh All Might's master all right and he says to Shigaraki, Shimira's ideology no longer exists. Don't tramp her on her ideals. Shigaraki responds by saying, who is it? And then Gran Torino has a flashback to the hospital when he was talking to All Might after his final battle with All For One. In the flashback, he says to All Might, uh, Torshino, you made an enemy out of him. And talking about Shigaraki. I feel like we all can agree about that. You know, in that moment when All Might was fighting all for one and then Shigaraki got transported uh, out of that environment and how he didn't want to leave his master. That was the true moment when Shigaraki was like, I'm going to destroy All Might and Hero Society at any cost. That's when the full turn to evil came for Shigaraki. So then we see a panel of Shigaraki having uh, hit Gran Torino and Endeavor um, is not close enough to Shigaraki to attack him. Shigaraki sees Deku standing in the clearing and grins, like an evil grin comes on his face, alright, but then above him is Bakugo, Bakugo is pointing his fist down at Shigaraki and is preparing to unleash an attack, Bakugo says to himself, there's a limit to my lack of controlled flight, and then he calls Shigaraki a bastard, and you know, Bakugo has been, you know, spending the last couple minutes trying to get into position for this attack, so then he takes off the pin from one of his gauntlets aims um, his firepower straight down at Shigaraki and he thinks about how he wants to defeat him here but before he can fire Endeavor punches Shigaraki in the gut with a flaming fist Endeavor's attack is called Vanishing Fist so I, I guess this is Endeavor's new special move and the fact that Endeavor has this much power left either, even after you know all the pun punishment he's taken um, but as we near the end of the chapter, we transition back to the mansion. Like I said, you know, we got to remember there's still another battle going on. The League of Villains are coming because of, you know, Shigaraki gave the order about four or five chapters ago, destroy everything. So then we see Mount Lady going up against uh, Ginomaka, uh, Ginomakia, and, you know, they're in a very intense grapple for power. And she ends the chapter by yelling, I won't let you go. I am concerned for Mount Lady. We've already seen so many heroes fall um, in this battle, like Crushed, uh, like Exilus. And I'm still scared. We have no idea how this battle with Shigaraki is going to end. Eraserhead, you know, I feel like the second his eyes close, it's going to be over. You know, and I, I don't know, we might see Shigaraki use those quirk destroying bullets on Izawa. So, somebody's falling. Somebody, I think we're going to have one more major death before this is all over. And I, I just don't know who is going to come. Is it going to come from the villains? We've already seen, you know, twice take the fall. But we also saw all of the heroes that died thanks to the decay wave. So I feel like somebody else is going to die before this is all over. And, you know, things are just not looking good for Mount Lady. I don't, I don't think she's, I, I think she's going to be defeated. I hope she doesn't die. I don't want to see any more death from the heroes. But uh, I don't see her beating uh, uh, Jinda Tomakia. But let me know what you guys think. This was another fantastic chapter. Things are really heating up here with uh, the battle with Shigaraki, man. So uh, I, if I had to make a prediction, since we ended the chapter with Mount Lady going up against Kino Makia, I feel like next chapter will begin with that battle. And I think a good portion of uh, next week's chapter will be focused on the mansion. 
But we gotta remember the big battle going on with Shigaraki going up against uh, our heroes, which is going crazy. And like I said, I do not know what's gonna happen, but uh, it, this is the fantastic stuff we're seeing with this work. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys enjoy this chapter? Another banger, in my opinion. And we'll be back here right next week with another review. Thank you guys for the love and support. I'm going to get out of here if you guys want to continue supporting the channel. And I will be posting My Hero Academia content all the time. Also, a quick note before I leave. Fire Force is coming back with their Season 2 starting tomorrow, July 3rd. Depending when you guys are listening to the video. So, I will be doing live reactions to that right here on the channel. So, watch out for that. Plus, Attack on Titan. The new chapter is coming out any day now. It's any day in the next three or four days, we'll be, we will be getting a check on Titan chapter. I believe it's 131 or 132, one of those. But we are nearing the end of Attack on Titan, so we'll see what's going on with that. Lots of exciting stuff happening. Plus, Black Clover comes back next week. So, like I said, lots of cool things happening here on the channel. So, if you guys have not subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Hit that damn subscribe button, guys. Come on. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys later. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Have a great day, guys. Peace.